We want to go down the size, not up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. I know that. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, it's about What incredible. Painful story. Monday morning at 7.30 they need some hands and some help uh, to take, <coughs> go through all the house, get whatever they can and then pack it to one of the garage, what they call mini storage and they're going to sort through and all that sort of stuff. So they just need some practical help as well, but also to financial needs and uh, all the different things that uh, need to take place because basically they lost everything you know, except for what was on the backs, the shirts and, and, and clothing. And so we're going to take up a special offering and we're going to bless them this morning. I encourage you to do that. And uh, that God will meet every need. And they've just been blown out by the support that they have uh, already received from uh, the churches and also from the community and uh, different businesses and that around here and also businesses in the plaza. And uh, so just continue to lift them up in prayer. Continue to pray for them and that God will strengthen them through this situation and uh, if you've got time to help in any way uh, just you can make contact with them if you didn't bring any funds today uh, i think in the bulletin is the account there's a special account being set up at the school uh, and the account details are there and you can do it for a debit if you want to uh, you can help with that. or you can go down to a national bank and put it in if you're given those numbers that you can put it in the account so I think the ushers are ready. Last Tuesday, the 30th of November, we um, got a I got a phone call from um, one of my daughters. I ignored it because I was in a board meeting. Got another photo, a uh, phone call from my other daughter. And I thought something must be going on. Answered the phone. She said the house is on fire. So I came roaring around here as fast as I could and found this place in an inferno. Um, what had happened, Paul? My um, 12 year old daughter was at home getting re ready for ballet her sister came picked her up dropped her at ballet her picked her sister up from work they came home with their little grandchild and you know like 20 minutes later and the place was an inferno absolutely roaring and so um the um the fireys couldn't do anything or anything like that but you know if it had been five minutes earlier my little girl would have been in here and this place went up so quickly she would have been gone if it had been half an hour later it would have been my wife and two kids and a grandchild in here so we're praising god paul all the way along um it's amazing some of the things that we've managed to save we everything's burned out in, in nearly every room but in the garage we found down the bottom of some shelves boxes full of family photos we've found things like um a couple of passports that we really needed um We've found little little trinkets that, that were, are very special to people. There was a thing on the wall in that room in there. Um, and my wife said, if there was anything I could save, it would have been this, that pottery vase that was up on the wall because it was from when her, her dad was still alive and um, her early childhood. And um, we climbed up the ladder the next day and, um, and managed to find this thing up on the wall, intact and fine. Um, each of the kids, uh, there's two kids whose rooms were, were totally burned out, so they didn't get anything special out of there, but the older girls managed to get some of their trinkets and special things, which are very important to them. Um, and, and yeah, it's just been an amazing um, experience. Yeah, God, God is, is in this um, without a question. 
without a question at all. You know, it talks about when you walk through the fire, when you walk through the Red Sea, when you walk through the Valley of Death. And we're walking through this, and he's supporting us all the way. And he had, when we look back, that he'd prepared us in the spirit for for this uh, beforehand. I had a dream a few months ago that there was a, a massive fire, and then something really, it was a fire, and something really good after it. And um, that night we went to the circus and they had fire blowers, and everyone's like, oh, there's your fire. But this was the fire, and we know God's doing really good stuff. It's hard at the moment. Yeah, we've got to find a house to, to, to rent, and... Um, and, and so the family's dispersed and so you know emotionally it's hard like that and you know everyone's saying goodbye to things that they treasured and we lived here for 18 years so there's lots of memories in this house but um but we've got each other and we've got our faith and we've got a god who's blessed us immensely and, and a the body of Christ has been fantastic. Um, you know, you know, when the body is working, when everything pulls together, and everyone's been supporting us in all sorts of ways. You know, the outpourings of love and concern and financial support. So we've got money to just buy dinner if we need it because we're not cooking at the moment. Um, you know, those sorts of things. It's just been fantastic. So we're thanking God. We want to thank everybody who's who's come and assisted us. And um, and yeah, it's been. It, it, whilst it's a it's a it's a hassle, it's not a tragedy, and um, we we got to go to my daughter's ballet concert on Friday night, and um, the the ballet ladies by by the time we left this site the night of the fire, the the ladies in the ballet school had already organised how they were going to replace my daughter's costumes for her concert. It was Tuesday night, the concert was Friday night and Saturday night, and she got to dance feeling like she was just one of the the girls in the concert. So you know. We, we got to go to her concert. We didn't go to her funeral. And that is a reality. Could have been. So we thank the Lord and we, we thank all you guys. Okay. Bless you. Okay. okay go. I just want to thank everyone for all their support and all their help. And um, it's just been awesome. And, and words really don't express how much we appreciate you all. And, and um, we're just seeing God do some awesome stuff through it all. I had um, dreams before it, but I didn't know what they meant, but I do now. <laughs> and um, But that's been really comforting because I know that God's with us in it and he's really supporting us through it and all the um, people around about us too. That's been incredible. And um, just the little miracles we've seen along the way, just getting Tali's special Pandora and... Um, the things that 21st yeah necklace daughter had a 21st necklace in the bathroom which is completely destroyed the necklace was, it's, was there and and you know just to be able to get those few things and people like um john and jenny at the surf shop and giving um us some clothes and just whatever and and also for um giving zaya a longboard that you know that just really uh, that was the first time he smiled in a few days so that was really good just to see them you know, um, coming through this together, and um, yeah, we're just so ever grateful mm. that we're all okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>